Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature 144 scale log cabin out of a recycled sales flyer, some toothpicks, a couple of matchsticks, and a piece of a coffee stir stick. Hope you enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment. So I'm using this flyer that was mailed out to me, and I'm going to use this one because it's white on one side and it's got different colors on the other. I don't really care about the different colors, we're going to cover those up. So I made a simple template out of paper and then made that same template into uh, out of the cardstock by tracing it. Then glue all the pieces together except for any pieces where I was going to put in windows or doors. Go on ahead and mark out where you want your windows and cut those out using an X-Acto knife. If you have some plastic packaging, you can use that to put in place as windows or doors. I'm using, mine is going to be a slightly modernized um, log cabin, so mine is going to have glass sliding doors as opposed to wooden doors. And then I put in the top floor, but I didn't glue it in place. I just wanted to see where I was going to make, um, cut it out because I wanted a place to put stairs and I wanted it to be a loft style for later. So I now have a place for stairs and um, also a little peak overhead so that there is a bit of a loft. You can glue that in place now. And then using your floor template, you want to make a piece for the roof that's going to be a little bit um, wider on either side. Flip that up and then trace out the dormer. Cut that piece out. And glue that back in place. Then you can create two little sections for the dormer roof. These are basically triangles with a blunt edge. And then I'm using toothpicks, lots and lots and lots of toothpicks. Cut off the tips and then cut them to fit the sides of the house. Then you can start gluing them in place. I'm going ahead and find a nice show to watch on Netflix or a nice show to watch on TV. Don't do politics, you'll scream. And going ahead and start stacking the toothpicks. If they're a little long on one side, don't worry too much about it. You want to make sure that the longer side is on the outside, and that way you can go through with a nail file and just kind of file them into place a little bit later after everything dries. Just keep stacking. When you've got them all in place, you can go on ahead and use a little bit of brown paint mixed with some water, and that will give you a nice stain. Brush that over the, all of the wood pieces. And then cover your roof with some glue. This is not a necessary step, it just helps to blend out the snow text and to thin it out a little bit more. In addition to that, it also helps to fill out any cracks that you may have in the top of the roof. And this snow text can be found in Michael's or any craft supply store, but if you don't have it or have any near you, then it's really easy to just make something very similar of your own using a little white glue, um, some white paint, and some sand, and just Put that over the top. Next, 
I used two additional templates of paper that I made for the floors and I'm going to basically just paint those the way I want them and glue them in place. And then I also went on ahead and painted the walls and the ceiling. Finally, using some matchsticks, I cut the matchsticks in half. And then again in quarters. Paint them brown. And then you can glue those in place. I also use a toothpick for a single support beam and a piece of a coffee stir stick for a chimney. I painted it white and then I used some of the Dimensional Magic from Mod Podge to make stones with it. Just glue the little stones on piece by piece one at a time and let them dry. Then you can paint them different colors and glue that whole piece to the side of your home. And that's it. It's done. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will probably come back and do furniture for this a little bit later, but I didn't feel like it right now, so I'll come back to it. I will. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye bye.